Hello people of the internet. Welcome to the another video. This is the continuation from my previous video where I told you guys how you can install Ubuntu 15.10 on the virtual box. Now I'm going to use the same Ubuntu to do most of the things that I'm going to do in the future regarding the web development and teaching you guys how to build your first website. Get started just boot up your previous installed Ubuntu even if you did not follow the last tutorial that's fine if you have Linux already installed if not please go back and watch the video on how to install Linux or if you want to do it on Windows that's fine it's all up to you so just start up whatever you have and we'll get right into it like I said in my previous video I use Terminator for my default terminal emulator application I work with gate as my default text editor and dolphin as my default file manager if you want to install those you can simply do sudo apt get install gate dolphin type in a password I have already installed it so it will simply say that it's already available so once you have those you're ready to go. Now I'm going to tell you how you can install LAMP on this machine. LAMP is basically the abbreviation for Linux, Apache, MySQL and PHP. You already have Linux. So next thing that you want to do is install Apache. Apache is what gives you the web server capability on your machine. Now when I'm going to install a bunch of stuff, I log into my super user cell, which you can do by typing sudo i. Enter and type in your password. Since I've already typed in my password a little while ago, I don't have to type in again and um, now I'm a root user. And I don't have to type in sudo before every command that I want to run as an administrator. Now if you're new to Linux, this is a very dangerous thing so be careful because you might end up deleting a lot of things that you don't want to delete so we're going to start by installing the database which is going to be the mysql let's do apt get install mysql server mysql client say why enter now this is the configuration where you can configure your MySQL server for a root user password. So I'm going to type in my root user password, enter, repeat, again the same password. So that is it, MySQL is installed. Now let's go ahead and install Apache. Apt get install. Now it's Apache is in version 2 so we'll do Apache 2 why okay apache is also installed now i just want to check if i can log into my database so i'll simply do mysql dash u type in root and dash p it should ask you for a password i type in my root password enter so there we go so databases semicolon and it will give you the list of database and so on so our database is set up our Apache is set up now I'm going to get out of my database now once you install Apache you can go ahead and try it out see if Apache is installed properly open up your browser Firefox right here and type in localhost Apache 2 you want to default page if you see this it works so there you have it Apache is installed we have database installed now the next thing that we want to install is the PHP and we'll also have to install the Apache mod for PHP so that it will connect to P Apache and PHP very well so let's do apt get install PHP 5 and leave Apache 2 dash mod dash PHP 5 
do I and the PHP is installed as well now to see if your PHP is working fine now you have installed everything that is necessary but there is one more thing that I would like you to install so that you can manage your databases a lot better and it is PHP my admin so let's do uh, apt get install php my admin say why we are using apache 2 as our web server now it is simply asking if you want to configure php my admin you can simply say yes just uh, use any password that you want password confirmation administrative user password there we go now after all this is done you have to restart your Apache server so let's do that system CTL restart Apache 2 there we go that is restarted refresh this Apache is still working so now we want to see how our PHP is working. So let's, let's exit out of root here. I'm just going to clear the screen. So now to make any change or write any file, you have to write them and put them on slash var slash www slash html directory. So we're going to go there var slash www slash html by default we will not have permission to write in this directory so i'm going to make sure i have some permissions so let's do ch sudo ch own i want to own this directory as a user so my name is sujit so i'm going to say sujit is going to own html directory i'm also going to say that group that can own this directory is also going to be sujit and finally change the permissions to have 775 on html directory okay so now finally html directory is set up we'll go to html and then create a file kate info.php okay and we will write php php info so that file is saved and you go here to slash info.php and you can see the php configuration it has been installed properly how it is configured and so on you can see all those stuffs here Now we will also like to be able to access PHP my admin so localhost slash PHP my admin should give you the access to database but you might get this error saying that it is not found however so if you have this error what you have to do for 15.10 is you have to follow a couple of steps real quick uh, you'll have to copy the configuration file that was created during the installation of PHP my admin to a proper place So to do that you'll have to type in this command real quick sudo ln s slash etc slash php my admin and then if you do double tab you'll see the list of files available there we want to copy apache.conf to slash etc slash apache2 and conf available and then we're going to say php my admin dot conf here press enter now we're going to use this tool after this sudo a to en conf 
phpmyadmin.conf and then like it says right there sudo service apache2 reload there we go now let's try it again there we go our php my admin is loaded i'm going to try root as a username and the root password that i created i'm going to remember this so there is your database so your web server is pretty much set with all these installation and now you are ready to develop your own website and do amazing cool things subscribe share like the video and you guys are awesome for watching the video.